What up, guys? It's your boy, Dreamer, and I'd like to welcome you to episode 7 on the Road to Redemption series. Now, I know it's been a while for me to get this episode out, and that's just because my capture card has not been working, like, at all. It's been really bad. But anyway, I did fix it, and uh, because it took so long to get this episode out, I will try to get a double upload today. I know I said that before, but I just couldn't get the editing, and I couldn't get the editing done in time for you guys, and I refuse to put out a bad video. But we're back. So anyway... As you can see, we were looking at our match objectives here for the next four matches against, I believe, Cruzeiro, Ponte Preta, Sao Paulo, and San Lorenzo. And uh, we, w we did get into our first game here. As you can see, here against Cruzeiro, we did not get picked to play this game, which is unfortunate. But we do get a win. We won 1-0 thanks to, thanks to a goal coming from Luis Fabiano. Anyway, into the first official training session of the episode, we get an F, a D, an F, a D, and a C, which is not very good. But anyway, into the first game of the episode here against Ponte Ponente, we do start on the ball. We immediately get on the attack. As you can see, that's Wesley here on the ball. He cuts back. He passes the ball down to Thiago Mendez. I call for the ball. I pass it out wide to Centurion, who cuts back. Pass it back to Thiago Mendez, who plays a through ball. I believe that's to Otto, who crosses it in. And I believe that's Michel Bastos, who sends in a cross from the cross. But it's headed out. And I do get the ball back. I try to be one defender here with the Berber spin, but it is defended well. But it doesn't matter. We do get the ball back here. Michelle Bastos on the ball. I call for the cross. I get my head to the ball. I hit it onto the crossbar, and it comes straight out, and they head it out. Anyway, we do get the ball back here. Again, I try to be the defender with a fake shot, but it was defended well. Tiago Mendez recovers, gives the ball to Tiago, gives the ball to Michelle Bastos, who gives it to Carlinhos, who tries the shot. The keeper makes a really good save. It comes out to me. I try a shot, and again, it's deflected, and unfortunately, we do do not get the goal here, but we still stay on the attack. We get the ball back. Thiago Mendes plays the ball to me. I beat one. Def I try to beat one defender with a fake shot, but unfortunately, it is defended well, and we could not get through. After that good defense, though, we do get the ball back. Centurion sends it across, and Wesley gets his head to it, puts it right into the back of the net. 1-0 in the 35th minute. You guys already know what it is. Wesley gets his head to the ball from a good cross, and that is how the first half ended. Anyway, straight into the second half here. Ponte Prenta does get on the attack. I believe they cross it back. I mean, they send it back, and then they send it across, which is not very good. As you can see here, trying a little bit of triangle passing to get the ball through, but it's not working. Anyway, they send it across, and our keeper, Renan Ribeiro, comes out, and he catches it for a nice, easy save. Anyway, they get across again, and then I believe that's Joseph Mard who gets his head to the ball, hits it off the crossbar, comes back to him, and puts it into the back of the net from the rebound, and that is how the match ended 1-1. Anyway, we will get into the next training session here in the episode. Let's see if we can get some growth from 83 to 84. Hopefully, we will hit 84 in this training session. We do hit 84 here. We get a B, an F, an F, a D, and a D. I honestly don't know how we hit 84 if we got that many Fs and Ds. But anyway, we get into the next game here against Santos, a pretty big club in Brazil. As you guys know, that is Neymar's old club, which he came from. He was amazing there, but now he's playing for Barcelona doing his thing. Went, he was nominated for the Balloon de Ouro this year, so good for him. Anyway, we do get... We do get into the second game here. Sao Paulo, or not Sao Paulo, what am I saying? Santos starts on the ball here. They immediately get on the attack. They send it across, but Carlinhos heads the ball out. It is defended well. Unfortunately, we could not get the ball away. They try a shot here, and Renan Ribeiro has to make a diving save, which is very nice. He does keep the ball out of our back of the net. Anyway, we're here on the counterattack here. I call for the through ball. I head the ball down to Centurion, who plays across across or he plays the through ball actually all the way to the other side of the pitch he switched the play here to michelle bastos who tried to cross it in but it just goes behind the goal post right down the slot for the goalkeeper. santos here on the ball they do try a shot but our keeper Renan ribeiro again makes a diving save and keeps it from going into the back of our net anyway we call for the through ball here but unfortunately it's just a bad touch and we cannot get the ball but anyway that's how the first half ended straight into the second game here or second half of the game i'm sorry they play the ball on Michelle Bastos. I call for the through ball. Unfortunately, I could not get to the ball. It is defended well. However, we do get a corner. Wesley sends the ball in. I try to get my head to it, but unfortunately, I can't. We do get the ball back, however. I call for the ball here. I think I might have, I might have was trying to create some room to, you know, try a long shot, but I couldn't really get around the defenders to create some room. Anyway, I beat one defender with some agility. I play the ball to Michelle Bastos. I call for the through ball back. I cut in with a bourbon spin. Play the ball through to Michelle Bastos, who put, who almost puts it in the back of the net, but their keeper makes a really, really nice save, and we do get a corner. However, the corner is not a very good one, and 
it's headed out. Anyway, we do get the ball here. I try a long shot off the half volley, but their keeper, again, makes a really, really nice save. And then I believe that's Alisson who heads the ball out for another corner for Sao Paulo. They send the cross in, but unfortunately, it is too close to their keeper, and we do not get anything from the cross. Anyway, that is Santos here on the counterattack. It is tr quite defended well, but they do get the ball back. They try a shot. It takes a deflection off the defender. Comes right back down to him. He shoots it again, and unfortunately, it is just wide of our uh, just wide of our goal. And then again, Santos on the attack. They do try a shot, but it's nowhere near our goal, and that is how the game ended. Anyway, into the next training session of the episode here. We do get a little bit of growth, about a quarter of a quarter. <laughs> As you guys can see here, we do get called up to represent our nation. We do get called up to Brazil FA, which is one of our official goals on the Road to Redemption series. So we are very excited about that. Hopefully we can get in an international match in this episode. But anyway, into the third and final game of the episode here against San Lorenzo. They start with the ball from they start with the ball from kickoff, but nothing happens. We immediately dispossess them, given the attack. I call for the ball at the top of the box from Centurion. I try a finesse shot, but it takes a it takes a deflection off of their defender, and it is out for a corner. Wesley sends in the ball, and I should have stayed right there. The ball landed exactly where I was, but I thought their defenders would get their head to it, so I ran outside of the box, and I thought it was going to come to get a long shot. But anyway, I should have just stayed there. However, we do get the ball back. I call for the through ball here. Try another finesse shot into the far post but unfortunately it takes another deflection we do get the ball back however i call for the ball here i do a scoop turn try to beat it try to be one defender with a burpa spin but unfortunately it's defended well and we do get dispossessed anyway right after that we are back again on the counter attack i do send it across and their defender gets their head to it out for a corner luckily it was a corner unfortunately we could not get our own head to it and put it in the back of the net whatever we get the corner in they send in the corner their keeper comes out and punches it away, and it gets San Lorenzo on the attack. They send it across, but it is defended well. Wesley is here on the ball. He plays the ball up to Gonzo, who plays it back to Wesley, who plays it out on the wing to Bastos, who plays it in Tiago Mendes, who plays it back to Carlinhos. I call for the through ball up the wing. I take a good touch, try to beat one defender with some base. I play a long through ball through the box down to Centurion, who sends in the cross to me, and unfortunately, it just hit the top of my head, and it pops straight up. A nice, easy save for their keeper. He kicks the ball upfield. San Lorenzo does recover from that goal kick. They do get the ball here. They're trying some passing. They're playing the ball back, you know, taking their time. We're trying to apply some pressure, but they're keeping the ball well. You know, one guy just took on like three of our players. But anyway, he still has the ball right there. As you can show, as you can see, he showed some good dribbling, some good strength. They do send it across, but nothing happens for it. Our keeper saves it, and it comes out easy. Anyway, we're on the attack here. We do give the ball away. So, I'm sorry, we're not on the attack. San Lorenzo is on the attack here, and they do try the overhead kick, but it does not go into the back of the net. That would have been a really, really nice goal, but fortunately it is wide. Anyway, they are they are very, very attacking right now, some very, very high pressure. They have a shot on goal, and it is a good shot, but our keeper, Renan Ribeiro, makes a good save. Anyway, they cross the ball in, and he comes out and catches it. Too easy for him. Anyway, I get past one defender I, with pure pace, and then I beat another defender. I play a through ball into Michelle Bastos, who I was pretty sure was going to put it into the back of the net, but unfortunately he doesn't, and that is how the match ends. Anyway, we will get into the last training session of this episode to see if we can get any more growth. Even though we do get a little bit great, a little bit better grades than what we've been getting, we don't get any growth. Anyway, that will be the end of this episode. If you liked the video, please leave a like at the bottom. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And again, because it took so long to get this episode out, I will try to get in a double upload today. Um, yeah, so stay tuned, you guys. Remember, if you do like the video, please do leave a like. And uh, yeah, stay tuned.